You are listening to Paper Series with Yasser, and today's guest is Dr. Hannah Pai from Quadrum Institute Knowledge UK to discuss one of her publications, Strains and Zero War Variants of Salmonella Enterica Exhibit Diverse Tolerance to Food Chain Related Stresses. It is published in Food Microbiology Journal. Welcome, Hannah. Hello. Hi. Uh, why did you study salmonella variants in food chain? So currently consumer demand for minimally processed food is increasing. So there needs to be more work into looking at the variation of different pathogens in the food chain and how they now react with this Mm -hmm. new processing methods. So typically different strains of salmonella are treated the same in food challenge tests. So they're all perceived to have the same level of risk. However, that's unlikely to be true. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to see whether there were different strains of salmonella that posed a greater risk to food safety. Ah, okay. So then how did you study that? So we chose 14 different salmonella strains, and these consisted of nine different serovars, and they were all phylogenetically quite diverse. And then we subjected each strain to different food challenge stresses. For example, we heat and activated them at 60 degrees for 30 seconds. We subjected them to desiccation stress and five-week refrigerated storage stress. And then we also added salt, acetic acid, and citric acid and determined the survival over these different stress periods. Okay, so you expose them to a diverse range of stresses. Nice. So would you like to share uh, with us one main finding or the main findings of your uh, paper? Of course, there was uh, quite a few things we found, actually. So most interestingly, we identified a couple of serovars of salmonella that were particularly stress tolerant. So these included some of the monophasic typhimurium strains and also a strain of salmonella kedugu. So these would be really important to make sure that are included in food challenge tests going forward. Um, and then similarly, we found that there was lots of variation amongst serovars um, and also within serovars. So we had lots of variation amongst salmonella typhimurium strains. Um, so it's very important to actually test each salmonella strain as an individual rather than just sort of grouping them all together and assuming they're all going to act the same because there's so much variation amongst them. Okay, so the different strains were behaving differently to the same stress. Yes. Very interesting. So what are the applications of this study or these findings that you got? So this study really highlights the importance of understanding this strain variation in response to different stresses that are typically used in the food industry. Mm -hmm. And this has the potential to improve risk assessments within the food industry. So we'll be able to inform different manufacturers kind of what strains they should be using in their challenge tests for different food products. But it also could help to improve these processing techniques to be able to fulfill the consumer demand for minimally processed foods. Oh, thank you. So basically, it's to improve food safety and food security. Thank you very much, Hina, for sharing very interesting uh, paper with us. Thank you.